going to put your dominant side behind you. So if you're right handed, bring your right side back. Both hands on your cheeks, like this. Keep your chin tucked in, but not to the point where you're looking down, okay? What we know about fighting, boxing, kickboxing, two very simple objectives. Hit, don't get hit. Give it real hand. I'm trying to punch Scott in the face. Scott's trying to stop getting punched in the face. My objective is the same, okay? So, if I'm trying to hit Scott whilst not getting hit myself, I have to chuck, tuck my chin in and protect it, as opposed to traditional karate, which goes quite long, okay? So, with the focus bit, Scott's gonna perform the same stance. He's gonna put both focus bits up for me to hit. Naturally, the one in front of him is gonna be in front of the other one. So, they're not gonna be side by side, they're gonna be like this, okay? You're gonna jab, and then you're gonna straight into a cross and back, okay? What am I gonna do with my other hand? Keep it where it is, yeah? If I do a jab, the other one stays where it is. If I do a cross, what happens to my jab? Strong legs. 
Got it? Good. Here we go. Scott's going to throw the focus of me towards the side of my face. Okay? Is he going to slap me around the side of the face as hard as he can? Yes, I No. Yeah? So if it all goes wrong, Scott is thinking about it. I'm alright. Do the other side. I'm alright. Okay? So, we're not going to defend it like we're doing traditional karate. You throw it. Okay? Big block coming towards it. We're not going to do that. What we're going to do, brush our hair over right to the back of our necks. But that's not going to be enough. Okay? So I want you to keep the chin down, lead away from it, and sink into his dance a bit. I'm not taking my eyes off Scott. Okay? Common mistake, look away. Okay? Common mistake, look away. Okay? Another common mistake, just put your arm up and not go all the way back. Okay? So watch my hand. It goes up all the way back to the back of my neck. I'm leaning away away from that centre line and I'm dropping a little bit but I'm not looking away from stop. Okay? And then I go the other way. Okay? The other hand still protects the chin. Because if Scott throws one and then he throws another one, I've got to protect my chin. So if he throws that one and then throws another one, boom, my chin is nice and open. If I defend one, I've got to defend the other. Okay? So keep the hand on the chin. Okay, so we can do the same drill. So he's going to go one, two. So swing one, swing two, guard. Swing one, swing two, guard. Swing one, swing two, and guard. Okay? When he's done that, we're going to do the same thing for low. Okay? So when he goes low, he's going to go into my ribs. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to keep my hands high. I can't bring my elbow any further down. So what I'm going to do is turn into it and drop. Okay? I'm not going to go away. So I'm going to give him my ribs, okay? So he's going to go low, drop, and the other side, turn, and guard, okay? And again, defend, defend, guard, defend, defend, and guard, okay? I'm protecting my ribs, okay? And then you're going to do a roll, okay? So now he's going to swing it round towards my head, but I'm going to do a roll instead. I'm going to lean away from it. I'm going to drop my stance and slip underneath, okay? Then he goes the other way, roll away, slip underneath. Don't do this. Lazy is what that is. Yeah? Use your legs. So turn away, drop your legs. So I'm actually only just slightly ducking under the hand. Okay? I'm using my legs. I'm not using my back. Like this. I'm keeping my eyes on stop. One, two, guard. One, two, guard. Okay? 